Okay, quiet on set, please, guys. Thank you. Mooks. I always get this screwed up. You guys are probably gonna have to do this one. M O. <laughs> Massive Open Online Courses. MOOC. Massive, so for the masses. Open, so lots of people are contributing content. Online is self-explanatory. And then within these courses, there's a huge variety. Tons of content, free, from universities. That can give you some kind of a certification in uh, CPA financial planning. To, you know, a basket weaving course that's very short. <laughs> See, that's why I'm having trouble. Corporate America is a little bit behind in their use of MOOCs, but they're quickly catching on. I think it's particularly effective at two ranges of the employee spectrum. For the very novice learners, it's great to get that foundational content out of the way that doesn't have to be contextualized for a particular client. Some basic information on how to use a Word document or PowerPoint. There are a gob of great courses out there available you can go send them to a MOOC and not actually have them have to build a course internally and spend those development costs. The other place where it's really great is for the expert learner. So there's not enough critical mass to develop a course for the two or three or five people who need to build a skill. You could send them out to a MOOC and see if there's a really deep skill available. The downside can be that the bail rate of those courses can be pretty extreme, especially if you're, you're sending them outside of the organization to one of these sites that offers many of the MOOCs available. There's very little capturing of data that tells us how long it's taking people to complete courses. Are they completing courses? Who is evaluating what is a good course? If we internalize that or create some partnership with those companies, we might get more information, but we still know that the attrition rate is pretty high. Originally, MOOCs were all free. Now though, there are enrollment, there are fees. Some of these courses can be quite expensive. So the learning and development departments still need to be very involved when there are MOOCs. Throwing them out and saying, take courses, enjoy, and that's your employee development program is probably not sufficient. M-O-O-C. <laughs> couldn't even keep a straight face there. <laughs> but I couldn't keep a straight face though when I said <laughs> I just want to do O O C M C.